this right here is my orchid terrarium and it's well it's really foggy on the glass and hard to see now because I have a lot of water mineral build up but I am thinking that I'm going to have to um, take all the plants out in it and redo it um, before I bring everything in from outside. Um, many things have actually moved out. You can see it's really bare inside. And of course, like right here, there's like a snail on the glass. But as you can see right here, um, many things just up and died in it. My Hariella retro calla's dead. The Amsel Africans that I took out of that tiny little flask from Costa Rica is dead. Um, my Dendrobium parvulum white is dead. Um, many other things are dead. They're just not here. Most, uh, most of my Cuthbertsonii died in here. And you can just see that a lot of stuff is like sticks in here and not a lot of live things. Um, and I had to take my um, radicans, Ornithopter radicans out um, to get a photo of it for the Illinois Orchid Society meeting. And um, I just don't know that I want to put it back into this basically what's turning into a bit of death. So things do really well in this for, I wanna say, oh, you know, a couple, I don't know, six, eight months. And then I had to drain it a few times. So if you look right here, I have a really high water level. And this is a real problem with terrariums, right, is drainage. And I am thinking I may have to basically plant the bottom of this with soil and put some plants in it and maybe put in some sort of semi-terrestrials like um, Ludicia discolor or something down at the bottom to help with water consumption. Um, though I have been looking at videos of those aquascapes and I guess I could just go with a much higher water level and then put basically a pump in. So I'll have to think about it, but I think I'm gonna to have to disassemble this and clean it uh, because it looks basically like it's, you know, 50% dead plants and um, algae, like lots and lots of algae right down there. So this was supposed to be my cool growing location for my orchids in the summer. That's what it's designed for. And I have central air, I have a fan in here, and I have a fogger that's pumped mist into it. But I think that despite um, that desire um, and the fact that the house is air conditioned, it's been a much warmer growing location. So things that like to be warm survived and all the stuff that was cool to intermediate basically curled up and died. I tried to plant sphagnum moss inside the tank, but you can see that most of the spag is dead. And I have put in some of this, I don't know, unknown moss that I found in a planter outside in my backyard. And it seems to be pretty happy in this really wet condition. And I just need maybe, I'm thinking of trying to find enough of it in my planters out back to cover the entire bottom and just, you know, all this water area with this, I don't know, random backyard moss. I think I can reach like 80%, 82% humidity. And I think that's supposed to be, the really old and not all the digits work on this, but I think it's supposed to be um, 80 uh, some degrees, uh, less than 90, but it's pretty warm in here. I think it's in the upper 80s. 
um, not all the digits on the left side of the first numeral work. The fogger off, I think it's still in the upper 80s in my tank and looks like around 70% humidity. So I need to take the lid off of the aquarium to reach um, the far side because my arms are too short. And the fan that I have in there is just disgusting. Look at it. It is just covered in like moss and black algae. So despite the fact that I seem to be able to achieve 60% humidity, 80% of the foggers on, a lot of the stuff in here is very desiccated. Like this, which was sitting on top of my um, wood stand, is very, very dry. So this is um, it's supposed to be um, epiporpax, but it's really just a little bit of something that's trying not to die. my clean tank now. Um, it's cleaner. I even cleaned the fan. I don't know if stuff will grow better in it, but I tried to put back only the things that were doing well in it, except for the Lepanthes right there, which um, have actually been out by the sink all summer where I've been watering by hand because my house is cooler than the inside of this tank. So I guess I'll find out in maybe six to eight months if this is a good setup or next year after another hot summer since most things did do pretty well during the winter in this. <laughs> 